Hey you, I'm Sarah Turner. I'm a freelance medical copywriter and copywriting mentor. And today I want to talk about one of my favorite subjects, which is in the realm of mindset, which I think you guys probably know I love so much because it matters in everything that you do in your business, in your life. But today I wanna to get more specific and I wanna to talk to you about money mindset and how it plays a role in your copywriting business. Money mindset is so important. And it's something that I don't think enough of us talk about. You know, there's a lot, of, we get kind of weird about money. You know, it's considered kind of rude to ask somebody how much they make and things like that. Um, but in the world of entrepreneurship, they kind of, in, there's a general encouragement to talk more about money. And personally, I think it's really healthy. You know, most of our money mindset or just our opinions about money or our beliefs come when we were like we learn them usually from our parents and the people around us um so they're ingrained in us before we kind of have a chance to really make our own opinions about money and you know money is powerful it is a super powerful thing in this world it's a source of energy but believe it or not it's actually pretty much infinite and if you work and really look at your money mindset and your beliefs around money for me and for many of my students the experience has been it can actually change how money comes into your life and i really really believe this this isn't just some idea i've seen it in practice and so i really believe it can work for you but where you start is by looking at what do you believe about money currently you know, we don't often stop and think about things like that. And it wasn't until I really like wrote it down, took the time to think like, what do I believe about money? That I started to think, realize that I had some kind of weird thoughts about money. I used to be very obsessed with checking my bank account and tracking everything down to the penny. And I also thought that was taught kind of that spending money is really bad. And I would feel really guilty when I would spend money. Um, I believed that money was scarce, that um, money, you know, I didn't really ever believe that money was going to make me happy, but believing that money can make you happy is often a belief that people have. And the thing is, when you're first starting out to really examine your personal money ma mindset, where it stands today, try not to judge yourself. We all have weird beliefs around money. So maybe you think that spending money is bad or scarce or money's gonna make you happy. Um, I also used to think that wanting to make more money would make me greedy. Um, I kind of had a little bit of a belief that if I made good money, it was because I was taking it from somebody else in like a bad way. Um, that being rich meant that you were taking money from other people and um, yeah, so I kind of had like a lot of like not so great beliefs about money. And um, it was it was to the point where I had such a hard time like even buying like clothes for myself. Like when things like things that I like really needed, like when I was like out of shirts because they were actually threadbare. I mean, my sister still makes fun of me because I have shirts from like when I was in high school. So I really had a hard time spending money on myself, even when it was like necessary things. Um, and yeah, I just, I, I felt guilty all the time. I've had a couple of friends actually witness me. Like I would like have clothes that I was going to buy. We'd be in the checkout line and I would be so overwhelmed with guilt about spending money on myself that I would just like ditch the pile of clothes and be like, never mind, I don't want it. And like walk out of the store. Cause I was like physically nauseous, but also get really nauseous after I would like make a big purchase. And just all these little things here and there that um, when I was turned on to the, even the concept of a money mindset, I started to look at those and I was like, wow, that is like not normal or healthy. I mean, who knows what's normal? I'm sure there's like a lot of people can relate to that. Um, so first and foremost, like really think about this. Like what are your beliefs about money? Do you think it's bad? Do you think you're greedy? Do you think that you're taking from people? Do you think it's scarce? Um, we really do live in a time of abundance. It's never been easier to make good money online while helping people, while bringing value. Um, so a lot of our beliefs are not really based in truths anymore, especially because when you think about it, we got our money mindset mostly from our parents and our parents, like their world was very different. You know, my dad's 
parents grew up during the Great Depression and like when we hang out, like, you know, just little things that they do, um, like reusing things that don't necessarily need to be reused or, um, yeah, just you can see the scarcity mindset that like my grandparents still have. And I'm not saying like, it should be a free for all and you shouldn't, you know, be responsible or conscious about your use of things. I'm just saying once you're aware of it, you start to notice patterns and habits and beliefs that aren't necessarily true and aren't necessarily serving you and your business. So really take the time to like think about this. Like when you go throughout your day, how do you interact with money? Do you are you reluctant to tip a server because that extra dollar you're not going to tip them is is what like is that you know is, is that something that's gonna you're actually going to remember and notice at the end of the day I mean maybe yes there have been points in my life where it was actually a stretch to tip a server but like servers that's the money they make so you know I wanted to be in a place in my life where I could tip them the 20% I could tip the you know barista at a coffee shop and I wouldn't be agonizing over it. So just start to go throughout your day and think about your relationship with money. How do you, like, does it, you know, does it control you? Does it make you feel guilty? Do you have some of the same experiences I have where it makes you nauseous when you spend money on yourself? So write all of those down and, you know, try and make, pull, and try and tease out the specific ones, right? And then I'm a big believer in writing affirmations that directly combat your beliefs to try and change your beliefs and a lot of that comes from you know our mind actually has a very difficult time differentiating between what is a thought and what is real in real life so every time you have a thought you know your brain tends to think like and, and it actually produces the chemicals in your body that are associated with it so if you are having a fear around money you know that's going to trigger like fear hormones and chemicals in your body cortisol is going to get pumping through your blood and um, it's a very real experience for your body which is why it's so powerful so I like to you know and I encourage my students to do this too and also talking about it I think is very healthy you know having a new conversation with friends and family where comfortable um, you know, you don't necessarily need to drag people along on your journey, especially if you think they're not going to be encouraging of it. But so really lay out those money mindset ideas and beliefs and then write an affirmation that directly, you know, counterbalances that. Like, how can you reframe that? So I'm going to share with you some of my actual affirmations around money that I have used over the year years and I and I write these down these are all part of affirmations that I do in my morning routine every morning um, and I actually record them over some biurnal beats which help you get into a more meditative state and I have a whole little visualization routine and it's truly changed my life and my relationship with money I no longer get nauseous most of the time when I have to buy something for myself that I actually need so here are some of my favorite affirmations and again these have changed over the years but um, yeah, so money allows me to do good in the world and give back, which makes me excited to work on building my business every day. Money is abundant. I just need to be open-minded about ways to bring more of it into my life in alignment with my values. Money is an infinite resource, so I don't need to worry about how and when it will come into my life. I work on building my business with confidence. I am a magnet for money. It comes to me easily and this makes me excited. I am worthy of making more money. This allows me to provide for my family better and it gives me more flexibility to do the things I love most while giving back to the world. This was a big one for me. I also realized when examining my own fears that I didn't know or believe generally like deep down in my heart that I was actually worthy of making more money. You know, I thought I was destined to just, you know, work a really hard nine to five and make barely minimum wage my whole life. And so it really, these affirmations, you don't necessarily need to believe them like in your gut right away. That's why you do this. Sometimes, you know, we, we tend to think that you have to have the feeling first for it to be real. But I am of the belief now that you can actually speak things into existence and retrain your mind to think new things and see things in new ways. And then that shapes your reality. So that was a big one for me. 
I appreciate my friends and family and know that building my business is giving me more time to spend with them. I know that there is a lot of money in this world and I am creating opportunities to make more. I am excited for money to come in my life in a healthy way. How I make money is aligned with my values and this makes me feel good. That was another big one for me because again, remember, I used to have this belief that if I was making good money, it was because I was hurting someone or taking from someone um, when really you can you can give back. And also when you have you know, more money, you can give back. Uh, Joe Polish, who's a very famous marketer, says people who say they don't want to make more money or money can't buy happiness haven't given enough of it away. And I like that just because it's a reminder that like just because you make more money doesn't mean that you need to hoard it all and be Scrooge. So um, that was a big one for me too. I use the money I make to add value to my life and other people's lives. That was another one that kind of shifted my mindset about money just being bad in general. Um, and then I don't feel guilty about spending money on my business because I know that's how you grow. That's another thing for freelancers. When you you know are thinking about, oh, should I spend $25 a month on FreshBooks or however much it is, which is an invoicing software that makes you look a lot more professional, or I don't really want to spend, you know, 200 bucks on a website, you know, that's taking out of my paycheck. That's kind of not the best way to think of things. When you're a business owner or freelancer, an entrepreneur, you are actually investing in your business. And any good business person would tell you that you need to invest in your business for it to grow and thrive and be better. So I really encourage you, this is one of my favorite topics of all time because I have seen the transformation in myself, I have seen the transformation in my students, and I really hope that it helps you with your money mindset transformation. So go ahead, hit that thumbs up if you like this, and as always, share feedback, comments, and future video suggestions um, in the comments. I respond to everything, so I'm looking forward to hearing your thoughts on this, like what is your money mindset like, what do you struggle with? How are you gonna challenge it more importantly? And of course, remember, hit subscribe because I'm always releasing new videos. There's a new video every single week. Thanks guys.